Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up on Roku in the sports section. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. <clears throat> on iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, the Latif Coyote, Luis Ortiz, heavyweight fight delivered for us. Uh, the pre-fight video uh, stated that I didn't see the fight going the distance. I encouraged you to take both guys by KO. That KO happened in the very first round. You didn't have to stick around for the KO. Luis Ortiz flashed some power. Understand, when the fight is stopped, Coyote had been knocked down twice already, if you're following traditional boxing rules. Now, I understand there's some controversy. Coyote claims that the fight was stopped prematurely. The stoppage isn't perfect, but understand that the referee was Robert Byrd. Right? Robert Byrd is a Boxing Hall of Famer. He is one of the very best referees in the sport. Right? I've posted the fight in my favorites on my YouTube channel page. Now, more importantly than winning the bet, right? and as I said, more beer for us, I was a bit disappointed by both fighters. Right, let's do a quick prognosis of both fighters. Right, first, Latif Coyote. I was disappointed in him. Take a look at his neck, his head. He's stiff. He's too stiff. Right, he has a lot of faith in his punching power. The problem is, he's not rolling away from punches. He's a sitting target. And he's not that tall for a heavyweight when compared to people like Vladimir Klitschko and Tyson Fury. And let's face it, if you're thinking about elite heavyweights, you need to mention those names. Right? So I question whether Coyote has the kind of defensive instincts and the kind of mobility, not rigidity, but mobility in terms of moving his head and rolling away from punches that it would take to beat those two guys. Right? I think Coyote would have a problem. I think he's just too stiff and lacks ring awareness. Also, Coyote, to me, freezes at times. I want people to look at the second knockdown of that first round. Right? Understand you have to make a decision as a fighter if you're hurt. Now, Coyote's up on the ropes. He gets hit with a bomb. Right? A fighter has to decide, am I going to stay upright and try to weather the storm standing up? Or, as I believe savvier fighters would do, am I going to hit the canvas here, take a knee, and take an eight count to clear my head? Let's just say Coyote, given a choice of A or B, doesn't pick either. He finds himself pinned against the ropes. He actually falls down a bit, and he's pinned against the ropes. Ortiz then steps forward, right, throws a few more punches. That's a very dangerous situation for a fighter. Right? Understand, when a fighter is lodged against the ropes and can't defend himself, think Benny Parrott, a couple generations ago, that fighter can be badly hurt, that fighter can be killed. It's unclear to outsiders whether the fighter is unconscious. I know Coyote has his hands up a bit, but he's not throwing anything back. It's unclear whether the fighter is too hurt to mount any offense and is just there taking punches. 
Now, Paulie Malinashi makes the argument on the telecast. He says, bluntly, you can't do that to a referee. Right? The referee has to make a call. You're not down, but you're not up. You're lodged between the ropes, and you're taking a lot of punches and not throwing anything back. Right? As Malinaji points out, too, Coyote wasn't making any moves to tie up Luis Ortiz. He's just there, and he's getting battered. Right, so Robert Bird steps in and stops the fight. Coyote immediately responds. Right, he clearly had some consciousness. It looked like he might have been able to have continued. But it was unclear before the stoppage. The reason Coyote is able to respond is because Robert Bird gets Ortiz off of him. Right, so in my eyes, this was a good stoppage in part caused by Coyote's stiffness, his lack of savvy. Right, he should have gone down and taken a knee. Right, or if he's going to stand up, he should have at least tried to roll away from punches and try to grab Luis Ortiz. Either move away from Ortiz right have a high guard that you're demonstrating to everyone in the crowd and the judge the judges right so people understand you're defending yourself or try to tie up Ortiz you can't just be there getting battered lodged against the ropes not doing anything not in a position either to throw punches back right keep in mind too I know many of you are going to say, hey, the first time he hit the canvas, that was a slip. Well, if that's a slip, it's a slip after a punch, right? Coyote looked like he was being overwhelmed by Ortiz's power. Now, let's talk about Ortiz. I was disappointed in him. Understand, he's in his mid-30s. I understand he's just now reaching the upper echelons as a pro. But he's now in his mid-30s. He's not a great athlete. Right? He's savvy. He's more skilled than athletic. And I was a bit surprised, just one man's opinion, by his lack of athleticism and by his lack of hand speed. The punches didn't seem to me to have pop on them. Right? Looking at that fight as it happened, you know, Ortiz is so slow moving and you have to figure that a fighter has most of his faculties in the first round. Right? That's when guys are going to have extra hand speed because there's no diminished stamina. Right? They haven't been hit. They haven't been hurt. They're fresh in the first round. Luis Ortiz, to me, didn't look fresh. Now, keep in mind, he comes in looking in about the best shape I've seen him look in a long time. Right? There isn't the usual flab on him. But what I found about fitness is you can't turn it on and off. Right? You can't be flabby, then hit a training camp, and be spry and ready. Right? I believe Ortiz's lack of discipline in terms of being fit has caught up with him. Again, I didn't see the hand speed. I saw a guy who knows how to fight, but I believe against the elites, his physical fitness and lack of hand speed is going to show itself. You know, if he were to fight a David Hay, and if David Hay is still David Hay, right? And let's face it, Hay has had injuries. Hay has been out of the ring. There's going to be rust, and there's going to be a question about whether those injuries have impacted his game. <clears throat> but if David Hay is still David Hay, 
the hand speed gap would be noticeable. And Ortiz doesn't have great foot speed to hunt you down. He was able to hunt down Latif Coyote because Coyote's not that savvy. Right? Coyote's stiff. A guy like David Hay is actually loose limbed. Right? Hay has much more movement above the neck than you realize. Right? And Hay actually has very fast hands. They don't show themselves that often because Hay doesn't throw a lot of punches in fights. But understand, David Hay is much faster in terms of hand speed than Luis Ortiz. Let's talk Vladimir Klitschko. Understand Vladimir Klitschko is a much better athlete. And I mean a much better athlete than Luis Ortiz. Maybe Klitschko is older. But Klitschko has always kept himself in prime condition. Right? Always. You know Klitschko can go 12 rounds. He did against David Hay. You know he can move around the ring. Stamina isn't an issue with 2014 Vladimir Klitschko. It was when he fought Lehman Brewster. It was when he fought Ross Purity. It isn't anymore. Right? I don't know how a fighter with Luis Ortiz's conditioning, and I don't think it's something he can change, by the way. Not in your mid-30s. Right? I don't know how a fighter with Luis Ortiz's conditioning and lack of hand speed can beat a Vladimir Klitschko. I really don't. Right? Klitschko would introduce a length dynamic that Latif Coyote didn't have. Also understand Tyson Fury. I'm not saying Tyson Fury has been in the best of shape in all of his fights. But I understand he's much younger, and I mean much younger, than Luis Ortiz. And when you look at his record, you're going to notice that he has gone more rounds in fights than Luis Ortiz against energy-depleting opponents like Derek Chisora. Right? The other thing with Tyson Fury is he is savvy. He's the opposite of Latif Coyote. Right? Understand, Tyson Fury can jab you with either hand. He can fight you, Southpaw. Look at the Kevin Johnson fight. Right? So, a guy with slow hand speed, even though it's out of a Southpaw position, Right? Isn't going to trip up Tyson Fury. Fury could fight Southpaw himself and have faster hands than Luis Ortiz. So put me among those who, while grateful for the casino win, is still a skeptic of both of these guys. Right? I think the trend for Luis Ortiz fights, now that he is right, in the championship levels, fighting 12-round fights, is to have a bias toward those fights not going the distance, right? This guy just doesn't strike me as a great athlete, and he hasn't been tested in a hard fight that would deplete his stamina and that would require a second wind after the seventh round to complete the fight, right? So I saw these two guys... Let's just say, I know the outcome is great for Luis Ortiz. It's his biggest win. He just beat a guy who got a draw against Antonio Tarver. Right? But, I'm not sure if he has enough to work with athletically against the elites. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.